Welcome to the Brixton Rec, where I'm joined by Megan Jones for the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic 2019. Megan, having played for Charmwood College and the Leicester Riders in the WBBL this season, how's your season gone from a personal standpoint and a team standpoint? Well, the team we have, we've had ups and downs. Like we've got, we won a lot um, with both teams. Like my highlight this year for like team and individual was WEBL finals. We like the whole season we were killing it and then we got finals and we were like, right, let's do this. And I got MVP, it was amazing. The team loved it, it was just a great day. And WBBL has been great, like being experienced, like training with them, playing against such good players in the league. So yeah, it's been really good. And what's been your biggest development as a player throughout that season? What's the thing you've learned the most, I guess, in your final season in this country? Probably the physicality. Like me being like the position I am, I'm very kind of like, not unsized, my height's good, but there's a lot of bigger players. So I've got to be more physical and lose my length, just be really smart with it. So that's what I've learned more, yeah. And I guess next season now, you're heading off to UC Davies, which is great for you and an opportunity to, to compete out in the States. What's the thing you're most looking forward to, to I guess, getting out of that season and just getting out to the States? Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to the weather. I'm going to California, so I'm like, I'm really excited about that. But the coaching staff are amazing and they're really going to develop me. Like, I want to develop my outside game way more, um, but they will like help me both ways. And I'm really excited to go into a team where I can help them win. And they're a winning team already, so I've got to keep it going. Nice. And I guess being at the Hoops Fix All-Star Classic this weekend, it's the first time that we've ever had a women's game added to uh, the Classic and over two days as well. Just how important is that for you and for the women's game in this country to have added a women's game to the bill for the weekend? Yeah, well, I was so excited when we all got like the messages and we're like, we're not allowed to tell anyone, so that was so good. But like for the women's game, it's really big. Like not just women's basketball, like women's sport in general in the UK needs to like we keep like developing it, going up, like promoting it. We got to get young girls. Like I think this is a really good opportunity to showcase all the talent here and everything, and just like go at it. So yeah. And what's the one thing that you're most looking forward to in today's game? Oh, I kind of looking forward to playing against my teammates because that's going to be fun. Like Holly, especially like going at them. Like, it's just going to be really good fun and like being on opposite teams is like really different. So it'll be really good. So. And final question from me before I let you go and carry on with all of the other the media that we've got here today at the Classic. What's it actually been like for you as a junior player in this country on the come up, wanting to make it to the highest level possible, and as a, a British female basketball player in this country when I guess some of the other things aren't quite on the on a par with what the boys get in this country what's that been like for you it's been tough like you got to work hard you got to kind of work hard to especially get exposure because all about going to the states is getting exposure like getting all them scholarships you got to be seen so that's the most kind of tough thing about here like here today like there's loads of talent being shown loads of coaches can watch the live stream like it's really good like to let people see the talent and that's kind of going through like this past years like it's probably getting seen mostly so yeah Awesome. So, Megan, we're going to thank you very much for joining us for this interview and good luck for the Classic. Make sure you're tuning in on YouTube at 4pm to see Megan and Team Black go up against Team White here from the Brixton Rec.